in this, in this example here, what we're looking at is, now we want to be able to see, oh, we have a radical. So, and it's the square root. So that means I need to understand that um, the function or the domain is defined for all values that are greater than or equal to 0, because you can't take the square root of a negative number, right? So I look, first of all, then I also look out here. Is this really going to affect any, like, does this have any impact, the number 3 on my domain? Like, does that have any restrictions on it, Just number 3? No, right? You could, like, so that I'm not concerned with a number outside the radical there, all right? So in this case, let just take the radicand, set it greater than or equal to 0. Now, do remember, guys, when you are solving inequalities, when you have to divide or uh, multiply by a negative number, we need to make sure we flip the uh, radical. So x has to be less than or equal to <coughs> negative 1. Now, could you graph this and then draw the inequality from there? Yes, you could. Um, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to say, what are numbers less than or equal to negative 1? Well, that's going to be from negative infinity to negative 1. All right, and again, you can like confirm that. Does that make sense? Like, so what are all the numbers between negative infinity and negative one? Let's pick negative two. Negative two times negative two is a positive four. Positive four minus two is two. I can take the square root of that, right? That works. So um, that's a basic identity of the domain.